hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel this is sports payout if you're just joining me do well to give this video a like hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos so guys um our last prediction uh we won all uh all five of our prediction okay so always do well to watch my video to the end without skipping any part of it all right so starting from um england we have the premier league okay so the premier league is back after two weeks so we have uh, arsenal against Tottenham. so we're going to check their table to know exactly where these guys they stand on their table so arsenal they've been number one on the table for quite some time now okay so they have 18 points and Tottenham they have what 17 points if you notice something about these guys they play at least over 1.5 in all of their matches okay so if you've been following every of their matches you know that these guys they score a lot of goals in their match so arsenal at least they score um they score in every of their match even the one they lost to manchester united so for Tottenham, they score every what in every of their match all right so their head-to-head -head matches you notice that these guys they play at least over 1.5 in all of their matches so guys, we're going to be on the safer side in this prediction, okay? We're going to pick this prediction as over 1.5. So uh, for the next one, which is Crystal Palace against Chelsea, still on Premier League uh, prediction. So we'll head over to their table to know exactly who is topping who on the table. All right, so you can see uh, Chelsea, they have 10 points and Crystal Palace, they have 6 points, difference of just 6 points, okay? So these guys, they haven't really gone far in their numbers of points, all right? So Arsenal is still number one in this Premier League table, okay? So for their head-to-head -head statistics, guys, for their head-to-head -head statistics, you see that Crystal Palace, they've played at least two draw, they've won twice, and they've lost once. These guys, they play at least over 1.5 in their matches. So these guys, they barely lose in their match, all right? Except the match against uh, Manchester City. So for Chelsea, they've lost two of their last five matches. They've won two and they've drawn one. These guys, they play at least over 1.5 in their matches. So they are head-to-head -head match against each other. You'll notice something that Chelsea always score in every of their match, all right? Chelsea always score at least one goal in every of their match. So guys, we're going to pick this particular prediction as Chelsea to score. Chelsea is going to score at least one goal in this match. So over to the next one, the France League, the France League One division. We have uh, Paris Saint Germain against Nice. All right. So for their table, you see that um, I think Paris Saint Germain are number one on the table. Okay. So they are number one, and they have twenty-two points. They have twenty-two points, and Nice they have what eight points, difference of like um, fourteen points. Okay. So you can see the big difference between them. So for their head-to-head -head statistics. Paris Saint Germain, they've won all five of their last matches. Okay, they've won all five. These guys, they score in every of their matches. So for nice, they've lost two, they've drawn two, and they've won just once. Okay, so these guys, they play over 1.5, but the chance of getting it is very, very rare. So, guys, we're going to pick um, this particular prediction as PSG to win. PSG is going to win this match against nice. Okay, so. Down to uh, Italy Serie A, we have Napoli against Torino. Napoli against Torino. So for their table, for their table, you see that Napoli they have 17 points and Napoli is number one on the table. While Torino they have 10 points, difference of just one point. Uh, sorry, difference of 17 points. Okay, Torino, uh, Napoli have 17 points and Torino have 10 points. So for their head-to-head -head statistics. For their head-to-head -head statistics, you see that Napoli, they've won all five of their last matches. These guys, they haven't lost any any of their match, okay, any of their last five matches. But Torino, they've lost at least three of their last five matches and they've won, what, two. Okay, so these guys, they play at least over 1.5 in their matches. But trust me, guys, we're not going to pick this particular prediction as over 1.5. Because when you check their head-to-head -head statistics, it's either Napoli win the match against them or they play the draw okay so guys to be on the safer side i'm going to pick this particular prediction as napoli to win or draw it's going to be a double chance prediction so for the next one we have spain la liga cadiz against villarreal cadiz against villarreal 
So you see that uh, the odd given to them is 5 odd against 1.6 odd. So let's check their table. For their table, guys, you see that Villarreal they have 11 points. All right. So Cadiz they have 3 points. You can see the big difference. Okay, 8, uh, eight points. And trust me, guys, Villarreal will want to go at least number 4 on the table. Okay, because the difference between them is not that big. All right. So for their head-to-head -head statistics, for their head-to-head -head statistics, you see that Cadiz, they've lost all four of their last five matches and they've won just one against Valladolid. Alright, so these guys, they play at least over 1.5 in their match. Alright, so to be on the safer side, you can pick this match as over 1.5 or we make our final prediction based on their head-to-head -head match against each other. For Villarreal, they've won three of their last five matches. They've lost one and they've drawn one. These guys they play at least over 1.5 in their what in their matches. So down to their head to head streak. Cadiz always score in every of their match. Okay, these guys they play at least over 1.5 in their prediction. All right. So based on how well these guys have been playing, Villarreal has been doing excellently well. All right. So guys, we're gonna pick this particular prediction as Villarreal to score. Villarreal is gonna score at least one goal from this match. So over to the next one, which is Sevilla against Atlético Madrid. All right. So this is it. A uh, hold given to them is three odd against two point five hold. So uh, I'm gonna head over to their table to know exactly where these guys belong. For Atlético Madrid, which is the away team, they have ten points, and Sevilla they have five points. Difference of just five points. Okay. So the chance of them playing. Um, okay, um, from our prediction, this match is going to be a little bit tough, okay, because the difference in their points is not really that uh, much. So, for Sevilla, they've won two of their last, okay, they've won one of their last five matches, and their last two matches was based on draw. So, these guys, they've lost two also. So, for Atlético Madrid, they've won two, they've lost two, and they've drawn one. Why for their head-to-head -head statistics, this guy, at least, Sevilla always score. Okay, or Atlético Madrid always score. So guys, we're going to be on a safer side in this prediction, alright? So, because it's going to be a tough uh, prediction. So that's why I will pick this prediction as first half under 2.5. They're not going to score up to 3 goals in the first half. So, for the last one, which is Maloca against Barcelona. Alright, sorry about that. Maloca against Barcelona. So it's between Maloca against Barcelona. Odd given to them is 8 odd against 1.35 uh, odd. So for their table, you see that Barcelona, they have 16 points and they're number 2 on the table. For Maloca, they're number 8 on the table, difference of just 8 points. All right. So we are putting our hope on Barcelona to at least win this particular match. Because for Maloca, they've lost 2 of their last 5 matches. They've won two and they've drawn one. These guys, they play at least over 1.5 from their match. All right. So we cannot actually rely on that for now. But for Barcelona, these guys, they play at least over 1.5, over 2.5 in their prediction. And they've lost only one to Bayern Munich. All right. So for their head-to-head -head match against each other, Barcelona always take a lead against them. All right. Barcelona always take a lead. So guys, we're going to be on the safer side in this particular prediction. We're going to pick this prediction as Barcelona win or draw. So guys, that's it. I've come to the end of this video. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell. Also, you can check the description. I will leave the link to my Telegram group. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.